Hey everybody and welcome to this Trade UI Options a tutorial that I'll be covering here for beginners and a whole plethora of other people from more beginners to more advanced. And throughout this options tutorial, I'm going to be doing a lot of different videos that are going to cover all different aspects. So stick around, make sure to watch the whole playlist and uh, get an idea of what exactly options are and all of that. But as we're hopping right into here, this is just the general front end here. This is kind of a general market sentiment, as you can see, for options and for just the market as a whole. You can see the gainers, losers, the economic calendar for what events might be coming up. Uh, and so on and so forth and then we hop into the options flow aspect here options if you guys are not really familiar with options trading it's kind of what big money is anticipating the direction of a move might be and with options uh, each contract is magnified to be about a hundred shares and if you think of that in perspective where they're buying maybe two three million dollars worth of option contracts that means they're potentially spending for exercise of up to five to eight hundred million dollars in that given direction which could be a very positive indicator for the direction of that ticker you know you got calls calls you generally think it's going to go up puts you generally think it's going to go down and then there's people that sell calls and then there's people that sell puts that gets a little bit more advanced but we're just going to cover the generalities of this platform in this first video as you can see here the green signifies the calls and puts the green means that it's more calls than it is puts the purple is like a mix and then you have the red here that's calls and puts but it's more on the puts side and then of course you have all these different filters you can do you can do the underlying of the stocks and etfs etfs like spy and qqq if you're not familiar it's a uh, kind of like a basket of stocks that they focus on so if that basket of stocks moves up then generally the etf theoretically should too for the most part and then of course you have different strikes itm atm otm in the money at the money out of the money i'll cover that in another video here but just a quick reference here that depending on the strike makes the difference on how much your particular option might move and the whole point of options trading is you collect up on those premiums when they go up and when they go down depending on what strategy you're doing it's a pretty simple concept if you read online a lot of places make it seem a little bit more complicated than it really is and I'll be covering that in the different videos here, so just make sure to follow along and watch every single one of them. And then, of course, we're going to hop into the next aspect here with the breakout scanner and analyst sweep scanner earnings. I have volume, gainers, losers, low floats, and penny stocks coming up. And I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with penny stocks if you've traded to any varying degree. And they're generally a little bit more risky because people can influence the movement on them whereas with options you have essentially a much more significant volume of money inflow money outflow things like that making it a lot harder for an individual to go and potentially manipulate that price so when you're doing technicals or whatever you're going to have a lot easier time doing technicals on a bigger cap stock but yeah, this is just rough idea of the breakouts here. So you can kind of catch them as they're coming in. You can kind of do flips and now with shares. So if you might see something breaking out going from uh, 10 bucks to 11 bucks to 12 to 13, 14, so on and so forth, such as like if it was an earnings or if it was another catalyst, you might be able to scalp in between that for some quick profit in just minutes. And this platform helps you do just that. Now this is basically an options